Hey guys, how's it going? I want to take a minute and I'm going to go over with you a few different things that you might want to try and remember about triangles from things you've done in years past. So, first off, a triangle we know is a three-sided shape, but let's talk about some different types of triangles that you might see. So let's say I have a triangle that has all sides exactly the same length. And when I have a triangle with all sides the same length, I'm going to show that they are the same length by putting one little line for each one. That just tells me that, hey, all those sides are exactly the same, just turned a different way, made to form a triangle. The name for that type of triangle is, starts with an E. If you said equilateral, you are correct. Okay, just like we have equivalent fractions, equilateral, the equi part of the prefix means that they're equal parts, so all sides are equal. The next type of triangle we, we might see is one that has either two short sides and one long side, or two long sides and one short side. Either way, you have two sides that are the same length and one that's a different length. The word for that is isosceles. So, an isosceles triangle has at least two sides the same length. What that means is that equilateral triangle, it has at least two sides that are the same length. So, you could even consider that equilateral triangle also an isosceles. But normally, we'll just call it an equilateral triangle. The last type of triangle you're going to end up seeing is one that has all different sides, all different lengths. And it won't always have the one, two, and three lines to show the different lengths, but it's just a different way to show you for sure that this side is one length, this other one's a length, and you have a third as well. That type of triangle is a scalene. Okay, so all of this is going over triangles and talking about the lengths of their side. So that would be side length classification. And I go over that one first because that's the one we normally have a harder time remembering. The next we normally uh, remember a little bit better. So that equilateral triangle, that isosceles, if you look at the angles for these and ask, are the angles for that triangle more, greater or less than 90 degrees? 90 degrees being the perfect corner. So. I'm looking at those, and I'm pretty sure those are less than 90 degrees. So that is going to be an acute triangle. And an acute triangle has all the sides less than 90 degrees. The next one will do look something like that, and it will normally have a box down there in the bottom. What that box means is that is exactly 90 degrees, otherwise known as a right angle. So we'll of course call this a right triangle. Now keep in mind that only one of those angles is going to be at 90 degrees. The other two will be acute angles. The final one we're going to do is one that maybe looks something like this. So you notice you have two smaller angles that are less than 90 degrees and this one larger angle here that is definitely more than 90 degrees. If we remember our angles from fourth grade, that type of angle is an obtuse angle. So once again, we'll call it like we see it. It has one obtuse angle, so we will call that an obtuse triangle. So. As you look, you have side length classifications. These will be your angle 
classifications. Okay, and as we start to look more at these triangles, review them a little bit more, you'll get to where you can see a triangle and say, well, this one is not just an equilateral triangle, it's an acute equilateral triangle because all the sides are the same length and all the angles are less than 90 degrees. This one right here, if I put a little box down in the corner, then it would be a right scalene triangle. So, hopefully this helped. Hopefully this was a good review of your triangles. Have a great day.